One of my uh, best friends growing up, his grandpa was a booster and he owned a suite when they just opened the suites. So like, I watched the transformation from when it was a grass field and then the hill was just an open fence where people were all the time and they didn't have the big press box up top in the suites. I watched them actually build that and then the first game they had, my friend's grandpa bought the suite and if you ever look at the box, it's the far right suite on the top. And every game, we she would load up a car full of, you know, me and my friends and kids and we'd go up there and go up in the game and so I watched countless games from that suite. I thought, you know, this is the coolest thing ever. When you're an eight year old, 10 year old, 12 year old kid, and you, you know, your dreams are to play college football and you can come see an atmosphere like that. It was one that was really cool. So yeah, I saw really almost every home game that Ball State had I was at. You know, it was really a dream come true. When I was younger, football was always kind of like my way of getting away from things, you know, like if you have struggles in life, you just go play football and it's kind of better. And, you know, I grew up playing baseball and I loved baseball, you know, but football was always my passion. And honestly, my goal in life was to always play college football. I never, I mean, I, you know, go play pro football would be awesome. But when I was younger, for some reason, just college football. Ball State was always, a, you know, the school I grew up watching. So I always thought it'd be really cool, you know, if I went and played Ball State. I watched those guys play. I know, I know the area. So, to really finally get the offer and then go walk in on my first day and the 110s test, you know, you're a little nervous, but at the time you kind of just walk out and I took a moment to soak it in and think, you know, right now I might be grinding, it might be a tough day, but there's really nothing else I'd rather be doing. It was a dream come true for me. So it was a great feeling and one of the best feelings I've ever had. Every year there's just something about our unit that, you know, there's more, the, more of us on the field than anyone else at the time. We're always the most overlooked position in football. We know that. We take it as, as humbly as possible, you know? So we're like, we're not out there for the glory, for the touchdowns, for the stats. We're just out there to get our job done. And Coach Johnson, our O-line coach, does a great job at building friendship amongst all of us. And, you know, I have guys in there that'll be, you know, in my wedding. One of them will be my best man in my wedding. And I think football itself just brings so many people together. And then the hardships, especially in my class, we went through, you know, like, 2016, we were two games from a bowl game, and then 2017 had, you know, the worst year in football I've ever had, in two and ten, and then the past couple of years, you know, last year we fell short by one game, and if we push ourselves, you know, every year we tell ourselves, like, it's going to get better, it's going to get better, and we just come together as a unit and grind, and we take pride in ourselves and on, you know, on our shoulders saying that it all starts with us. Drew can't drop back and throw a pass if we don't let him. Caleb Huntley can't run through a hole if we don't make the hole, you know, so... Having that humbleness and then just knowing that as, as long as five of us are out there, we're on the same page, we're going to be good, has built a friendship. You know, we're a unit that our bond really can't be broken, and we all love each other. We're all boys, and we all know that we all have each other's backs in any situation. Mike New and the Ball State Cardinals. So they'll have a chance to win this division outright, perhaps, next week at home. To win a MAC championship. I want to go out there and compete. So. It's not going to make any difference on how hard we go or how hard it's going to be. At the end of the day, the guy in front of you is going to hit you in the face and you have that, you know, you can hit him back or you can take it and say, oh, I'm taking it easy. Well, that's your decision. But for me, I'm going to go 100% as much as I can, whenever I can. I can go out and when football, there's 11 people on the field, 10, including myself, and I got to be able to trust that when I get up and take the ball, the guy right to me, the guy left to me is going to have my back. They're going to do my job. Discipline yourself. On that. Finish through the line. Why would you stop short? One yard in football is the difference between a touchdown and an end of the game, ball game, game over. And then, you know, if we push ourselves and work hard enough, then at the end of the day, hopefully, come December 18th, we'll be in Detroit.